नमस्कार वी आर टुडे गोइंग टू डील विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फैसिनेटिंग टॉपिक ब्लैक मैजिक एंड हाउ टू नो इट फ्रॉम अ बर्थ ऑफ यू बिलीव इट और नॉट बट ब्लैक मैजिक इज गुड I myself have seen it happening with people, and how it can block your progress, be a problem in your path of success, and how it can restrict your happiness and comfort in life. black magic is a very serious issue and it is not only in india the voodoo of south africa the black magic of guatemala the black magic of west indies it is all over the world jealousy is a common trait of every human and because of this jealousy people take to the ways of black magic many a time it is black magic many times it is just an illusion hallucination phobia how to differentiate between them and how to know who did the black magic how the black magic was done and so on we are going to deal about this in this video but before i go there this complete in depth analysis of black magic comes to kerala prashna the method of prashna that is practiced in kerala and south india it is a very fascinating branch there are two prime classics of all the there are many but majorly there are two prime classics dealing with the method of prashna that is practiced in kerala one is prashna marga and another is krishniyam prashna marga is a well structured book whereas krishniyam is not a well structured book however these two books are considered the backbone of prashna as practiced in kerala and also astrology as practiced in kerala very few people know that even the shlokas of brihad jata are the backbone of the prashna in kerala the kerala prashna is one of the most advanced system of horary astrology which is very in depth very in depth and very exhaustive if you have mastered and understood prashna in the kerala way in the way to set in kerala i am pretty sure that after this there is nothing left in the astrological world to be understood if you have understood kerala prashna well then your success in astrology is guaranteed your success in astrology is there for sure i am from 14th of may going to do a course on the prashna or horary astrology as practiced in kerala this is a four month course where i will cover the most important chapters of prashna marg and krishna there are many courses out there on prashna marg and krishna but unfortunately they are taught by teachers who have no connection with kerala they are taught by teachers who haven't learned it in the authentic traditional way it is taught by people who possess almost no experience in conducting prashna who have 
if it never visited Kerala in their life. Because if you are from the tradition, then you will know the secret. Let me tell you. In the tradition, it is told that the intelligent person, that an astrologer should master Brihajatak, Hirudaipada, Dasadhyayi, Prashna Maharaja, Krishniyam, Prashna Chandeshwar and the few things. But if the person is not that much intelligent, then he should only read Brihajatak, Prashna Maharaja, Krishniyam and Dasadhyayi. Even if the person is even not that much intelligent, then three chapters of Prashna Marga and two chapters of Krishnayam are there. It is the saying of the tradition. Because you know, in tradition, when the complete family is into astrology, they want even the dumbest child even the not so intelligent child to become an astrologer. And not everyone is endowed with the intelligence to remember and understand complete books. In all the texts, everyone will not be able to memorize the whole text, understand the gist of complete text. And for those people, certain chapters from Prashnamar, Krishniyam and Vrindjata is recommended to be learned and understood. And people in the Kerala traditions of Kerala believe that if you master these chapters of Krishniyam and Prashnamar, then you can excel and you can master in Prashna in the Kerala way. Unfortunately, the people who are teaching courses on Prashnamar and Krishniya are not even aware of those chapters. But in this four month course, I am going to deal with those fundamental chapters of the Because let me tell you as if you only remember dictums and techniques, it will lead you nowhere. If you don't have an understanding of the chart, then you will never be able to predict something. How many combinations you can remember? 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, how many? Suppose you memorize 20 principles for black magic and 20 principles when even despite having the black magic combinations, there will be no black magic then is it humanly possible to apply all those 40 principles in a horoscope and tell the result? And how much time it will take you to do? If you take four days to predict a chart, will you be able to practice successfully as an astrologer? It will never happen. So what is necessary is to understand the gist, understand the crux of the system, understand the fundamentals of it, and master it. That is what is needed. And that is what is given in these specific chapters of Prashnamar and Krishniya that I am going to teach in my Art of Prashna course that is going to start on 14th of May 2021. And the price is minimal. Price is 4500 rupees per month. So it is a four month course. In around 20,000 rupees. 18,000 rupees to be precise. In 18,000 rupees, you can learn the root and the gist of Krishna. And in this four months, you will master Krishna in such a way that, like, you know, just to say Kerala. And the Prashna that is practiced in Kerala is the most advanced system of astrology that I have came across. And believe me, I have came across a whole lot of systems. Right? 
So I invite you all to join the course. And this is a golden, golden opportunity. Don't miss it. Take admission as soon as possible because the prices may hike at any given point. And once I hike the price, after that, don't request for it. Don't request for an right? Because so the seats are very less. It is almost full. The number of students that I wanted for such a special course, eighty percent of the seats are filled. There is just space for three, four, five, and maximum five people. More than five people, I am not going to take. If you want a master or any astrology, specifically Kerala astrology, the Kerala map of Krishna. That too, from a person who have lived in Kerala for many, for long. If you want to master the Krishna method of Kerala from a person who has lived in Kerala, who have learned astrology in Kerala, who have lived in Kerala with his guru, then please join the course and don't get fooled by those people who have no connection with Kerala but with the courses of Krishna and Krishna. However, coming to my topic today. Black magic. Before I start, write down one thing. There are two types of astrologer. One is a Mercury-based astrologer who reads books and teaches things written in the books. Another is Jupiter astrologer who knows the essence and teaches you the essence. Right? I have a strong Jupiter in my chart. What I am going to teach you is the parampara secrets and my understanding of how to deal with the black magic question. It may or may not be what is written in Prashna Mark or Kerala Prashna class. But this is what I have learned in tradition. This is what my experience tells me. Now you are a better judge whether to go with a book or an experience or in parampara. Before promise, first thing. So when a chart comes in front of you, Prashna, Prashna is the horoscope for the moment. Suppose someone asks me that, sir, I think someone have done black magic on me. I will make a horoscope for that moment. The time, the place, the date of the astrologer should be taken. So suppose I am in Dehradun at a particular point of time. And someone asks me that, sir, I doubt that someone have done a black magic over me. So I will make a horoscope for that time, for that day, taking the places Dehradun. <clears throat> and the promise. For movable ascendant, Aries, Cancer, Sidra, and Capricorn, 11th house is Bharat. For fixed ascendant, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, 9th house is Bharat. For dual ascendant, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, 7th house is Bharat. Note it down. Note the next thing also. Then, then there is something known as Mahabhava. Great Bhava. For Aries, Aquarius. For Taurus, Capricorn. For Gemini, Sagittarius. For Cancer, Aquarius. For Leo, Scorpio. For Virgo, Scorpio. For Libra, Aquarius. For Scorpio, Scorpio itself. For Sagittarius, Scorpio. For Capricorn, Aquarius. For Aquarius, Cancer. And for Pisces, Sagittarius is the Mahabhadaka Shra. Badaka and Mahabhadaka, both of them create black. Badha itself means obstruction. Bada itself means trouble. Bada 
itself means restricting things in your type of progress. Rule one, and most important, for promise, always remember, this is throughout astrology, for promise, there is only one dictum. Always. If there are 20 dictums, it is not for a promise. Extremely sorry. There is only one dictum, right? If the Bhadrika sign or the Mahabhadrika sign is occupied by a malefic, Rahu, Ketu, Sankam, Ma, Sun, or the most malefic planet is Gulika or Mandi. If the Badhat or Mahabadhat signs are occupied by malefics one, or the Lord of the Badhat sign or the Lord of the Mahabadhat sign is in the sixth, eighth, fifth house from the birth lagna. Sixth, eighth, fifth house from the Chakra lagna. Sixth, eighth, fifth house from the Arur lagna. Remember, it is not Jaini Arur, it is Krishna Arur. I have written about Krishna Arur in my. Ashtamangal Rome Krishna article. The article whose copy people are now selling in the courses, however. So if Badak and Mahabadak signs are occupied by Malefics, what? If the Lord of the Badak or Mahabadak signs are anyway connected to the 6th, 8th, or 12th house, then there will be a problem related to that. Now, there are categories. If there are malefics in the Badak or Mahabadak sign, and the Lord of the Badak and Mahabadak sign is in 6, 8, 12 houses, then it is a very strong blank. If the malefics are not there in Badak or Mahabadak sign, but the Lord of Badak and Mahabadak sign is in 6, 8, 12 houses, then there is black magic. If the Lord of the Badak and Mahabadak signs are not in 6 8, 12 houses, but connected to the Lord of 6 8, 12 houses, in that scenario, it is a little bit weaker black magic. If the Lord of the Badak and Mahabadak signs are with Malefic, then it is the lowest kind of then it is the lowest kind of black magic. So there is a very strong black magic, there is weak, there is weaker, there is weakest kind of black magic. The weakest kind of black magic can be tackled, you know, can be removed just by praying to God, with a heart effect prayer to God. And a very strong, for a very strong black magic, you yourself have to do pujas, you have to install yantras, who have to chant mantras, you have to do prasthiran of mantras, etc. Try to get out from it. Getting my point? So the level, the severity, the seriousness of the black magic is important. Once we have known black magic, then you should analyze the factors and the analysis of the factors will tell you how the black magic was done, who did the black magic, etc. I will take two, three example charts of black magic, two, three prashnas of black magic that I have seen. And while explaining them, I will teach you the further rules of expression of how to analyze black magic. Right? So that you keep, you understand it as well. How to analyze the Prashna thing, how to analyze the black magic in a Prashna. You understand it for a particular reason. I will explain it along with taking the exam. So here is the chart number one. You can see this Prashna. This Prashna was asked on 21st July 2020. 
this question was asked on 21st july 2020 at 11:56 pm in the night when i was in pandara now many people opine that a prashna cannot be asked in night time but that is not true prashna mark itself have a shloka that if the prashna is asked in the night time then the analysis can be done from the arun lagna however for the sake of example i will analyze it from the ascendant only i will give you the background of the case maternal uncle of a lady was having mental issues from multiple years he was on wheelchair since multiple years the lady approached me and asked me the question that is it because of some black magic being done on my uncle maternal you see this chart this is aries lagna the badak sign and mahabadak sign both of them is aquarius in aquarius there are no malefics the lord of aquarius is not in the 6th 8th house but the lord of aquarius is in the 10th house with gulika and mani now this should indicate the third level of in the decreasing order of seriousness it should indicate the third level of black magic but because saturn is retrograde it gets chesta wala hence we should say that it is a very strong black magic now who have done the black magic if you see this now see house lordships you should not see why because only because saturn is the 11th lord became badak right if saturn is with some other planet we have to check that planet right now saturn is not with any planet so we are not going to check the house lordship of saturn saturn indicates an old person so the person who have done the black magic is an old person that is in the sign of capricorn that old person is related to this person's profession saturn is in a female sign so that person is a female an old female lady who is connected professionally to this person about whom the prashna is being asked have done the thing now how the thing was done for to decide how the thing was done you have to check the dispositor of saturn and the dispositor of saturn is saturn itself it is in the 10th house 10th house indicates the sky it is in capricorn that is an earthly sign that too the saturn is in aquarius navamsha with mercury and mercury in its skin nails are a part of skin so we should say that the person who have done the black magic took the nails of this person he put that nails into a pot aquarius and buried it inside the earth to do the black magic now where he buried it to know that you have to check the aspect moon and sun are aspecting the saturn from the fourth house whereas saturn is whereas sun is the lord of the fifth house moon is the lord of the fourth house 
so the person who have done the black magic took the nails of this person put it into a small pot kind of thing and buried it near the home of this person in that home also they buried it near the child near the child's room of this person how to get out of it to know how to get out of it you should see the benefit influences on that saturn is being affected by moon who is bigbali and swarashi and moon is in the fourth house in the sign cancer so a devi in resting position a devi in resting position a devi in sleeping position or a devi connected to water should be worshiped to get out of the problem and because the badak is in capricorn which indicates a crocodile worship of mother ganga who is a devi connected to waters riding a crocodile worship of the goddess ganga will prove beneficial now how to worship it with mantras to use etc that is the duty of a mantrika to do to those students who perform very well in the course i will also teach this to them but for this i don't promise in the course if you are a good performing student only then i can open my heart out to you to come to the course be a well performing student and get the reward let's go to another example so this is the horoscope of a lady sorry this is a prashna asked by another lady first april 2020 at 1854 this evening that is on 6:54 in the evening i was in faridabad then this lady asked me that have my fiance done black magic on me i was about to get married to this person but somehow for some reason my marriage broke and at that point of time i was about to get married to some other person but after some time my relationship with that other person also broke this incident is 5 years old and i am not able to get married to another person i am not getting any chances at all whereas when i was in relationship with my spouse i was being surrounded by people who wanted to get married to me who wanted to have a relationship with me etc 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 for virgo scorpio is the mahabharat sign that is empty the lord of scorpio is not in the 6th 8th 12th house that is in the 5th house with the 6th lord saturn that is also male the normal badak sign is virgo the lord of that badak sign is jupiter that is in the fourth house having no connection with the 6th 8th or 12th lord but in the seventh house badak there is the 12th lord sign confirming that it is a black magic case now there will be a dilemma whom to decide black magic from whether decide the black magic from mahabadha or decide the black magic from badha if you look at the mahabadha mars is exalted with saturn in own sign versus normal badha where the 12th lord sun is just situated in five you know 
that Mars exalted with Saturn in own relation to more power. Now, all this thing is happening in the fifth house. So the black magic was done using mantras because fifth house indicates mantras. The Bada is with Saturn. So the black magic was done by an old person. Now the Saturn is in the fifth house. In Navamsha, it is an Aquarius. So the mantra was done by a female. An old female priest. The mantra was done by a old female priest. Fifth house in the house of mantra. Now, how to get out of this issue? Saturn is in the fifth house with exalted Mars. Exalted planet indicates the Vishnu of that. Mars will indicate a Narasimha. But with my experience, with Mars in the sign Capricorn, I will advise to go with Bhairav. Going with Batuk Bhairav. Batuk Bhairav is the child form of Bhairav. Batuk child. Child form of Bhairav, right? This is, this is the fifth house of children. Worshipping Batuk Bhairav will be a possible remedy for this lady. And by the blessings of Batuk Bhairav, the problems that are coming will get resolved. I hope that I am pretty clear with it. Let me take one more example to understand it even further. Uh, sir, I have a question regarding the last two charts. Mm -hmm. Sir, as we know that Saturn own, does not only denote old people, it can also denote somebody who is diseased or somebody who is from a lower working class. So how should we differentiate and how did you come to the point that it is an old person and not a diseased or physically challenged person or somebody from a lower class? This all depends on the houses that we are dealing with. In the first chart, if you remember, Saturn was the Badhak situated in the 10th house. 10th house is related to the Karma. In this particular case, we can say that this was done by a lower caste person. So I told this by hinting at that this can be done by someone related to the profession of the person, right? That should be a lower caste person, you know, someone uh, who is, uh, you know, like, someone who is into menial work in his office and who is jealous of his success or of the money that he's making, etc. Why we are not taking Saturn as a diseased person is because in both the Krishna, in D1 chart, Saturn is an own sign, in D9 chart, Saturn is an own knowledge. The planets in their own sign and the planets in their own Navamsha are told as Swastha. Swastha means healthy. Planets in own sign and own Navamsha are termed as Swastha, that means healthy. And this is where the higher understanding of astrology comes into play because these planets are told as healthy. We are not taking them as diseased person. That's why we are taking them as an old person only. In those cases where the Saturn is not into own sign or own norm, in that scenario we can say Saturn as an old person. Even in that scenario, see the ninth house indicates the father, the twelfth house indicates the paternal grandmother. So only when the Badak is in the ninth house or in the twelfth house, we can say that it was done by an old person specifically when the Badak is some other planet. But if that other planet goes to the sign or the Navamsha of Saturn, 
in that scenario sad and negative old we can say it was in by the old it is not so we have to keep in mind the houses the rashis and the navamshas that the planet is taking that is also something that we have to look at very carefully right thank you sir coming to the example a good client of mine from mumbai thinks that someone had them black magic on him that is hindering his progress he asked with a question on 25th march 2021 at 9:24 in the night when i was so coming to the chart for libra aquarius is the mahabadha the lord of aquarius is in the fourth house with the sixth lord jupiter who is also debilitated the normal badak for libra being a movable sign is the 11th lord that is in the sixth house with venus so yes black magic is there now who is stronger whether saturn with the debilitated jupiter is strong or sun in the sixth house with venus is strong the internal strength of the planet comes through navamsha that is a dictum in all over astrology You will see, you know, the strength of planet comes from Navamsha. The strength of planet comes from Navamsha. I am illustrating you today for the first time how to use it. Here, the Saturn is in Taurus Navamsha, Jupiter is in Virgo Navamsha, the fixed side. Sun is in Libra Navamsha, and Venus is in all sign in Libra Navamsha. Hence, the Sun Venus combination is hard, right? because the lagna lord venus is involved that is also the eighth lord in the sixth house with the badak 11th lord sun you can know the severity you can know the severity of the black magic i told to this person that you light a guni in your home you take the sambarani cups and light it at your home every evening after one week the person called me up and he told me that sir when i light the dhoop i feel that someone is pushing me from behind and i almost fell twice once i also broke my nail nail in the thumb with the fix thumb the prashna itself is indicating that the black magic is high is strong far who have done it the badaka is with the venus and venus is in libra in navamsha libra is the natural seventh house venus indicates the wife so the black magic can be done by the wife this person is suffering in his marital life now the wife herself cannot do the black magic because venus is exalted so she took the help of sun who is debilitated in the navamsha now sun indicates a 50 year old person and being debilitated it indicates an ailing person so it will indicate that his wife took the help of an ailing old tantra his wife took the help of an ailing old tantra to do black magic on this person because this combination is happening in the sixth house whose dispositor is going into the fourth house 
it will indicate the dispositor of sun and venus is going in the fourth house with saturn back to being debilitated capricorn is an earthly sign saturn indicates dust which indicates that his wife got some sand or some other dirty thing you know like a dirty cloth or something like that his wife got it infused with mantra and sprinkled it or hide it in the home of this person somewhere in the cupboard fourth house or somewhere in the bedroom below the bed in the bedroom area his wife got something dirty such as you know like some sand some dirty clothes etc got it infused with the tantra and hide it inside the home inside the bedroom of this person or their bedroom and this is how the black magic was done the first thing to do is to remove it first of all and another thing is venus is exalted and in own sign an exalted venus will indicate the sattvic form of lakshmi known as annapurna this person should worship annapurna devi to get rid of this thing now before i end the video i want you to know something important also in the case where the badak is connected to the 12th house it is considered as the badha is lost and there is no black one two in the case where the badha is being connected to a malefic and when that malefic is in own sign own navamsha exalted or otherwise benefit in that scenario the malefic is not considered as a malefic and we should say that there is no badha but in two charts in the first two charts and even in the third chart you must have saw that i have ignored the exaltation the own navamsha of the planets with father why are you so there are some hidden rules that i am going to teach in the course this was for the video thank you for watching and a special thanks to sandeep upadhyay ji who suggested me to make a video on this topic and which helped all of you so thank you to sandeep and thanks to you for watching the video